um, how can we judge trend up or down? It's very important for all. It's uh, simply you, I, I, I do use the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. And how I capture trending up or down is very simple. Simply I check the Kumo and Kijun Sen situation. When Kumo is bullish and Kijun Sen is turned bullish, it's uptrend for me. And when Kumo is down, Kijun Sen down, it's bearish. So let's see. Like in this in this area here, let me do bar play. Maybe I think this somewhere here is a good example. Uh, you see the Kumo is down, Senko span B, Senko span A. You know when the when it's the down Kumo, Senko span B is upper part, Senko span A is a lower part. So Kumo itself is going down, and Kijun Sen is pointing down. So this is bearish, simply speaking. And for the supportive purpose, I use Tenkan Sen and Chiko Span, but mainly I use, I look at the Kumo and Kijun Sen angles. And when Kumo Kijun Sen are flat, to me that's range. So for example, uh, here, uh, let's see. Yeah, here you see the Kumo is very small, Kijun Sen flat. So this is range. At a glance, it's range. And the price is also in the Kumo. So I wait until the price comes out of the Kumo first. And then Kumo to follow up or down. And Kijun Sen to follow up or down. And then I enter trade. I look for the trading edge and enter trade. But when I see the market like this, I simply stay away because it's range. Yeah, because this is very important because we, we are using different indicators, different, we have different knowledges, we have, uh, we may have different experiences in markets. So some may say it's bullish still because you see the uptrend still, there's a pushback. So some may say it's bullish, or but some may say bearish because you see the market is going down and it's kind of on the Kijun Sen, so you may see this uh, bearish in wave. Or some may say it's range. So, but we have to be clear in the definition of trend and range. And Ichimoku can tell you exactly whether it's range or trend at a glance. It's really simple, but very powerful. And for me, as a trend follower, I only trade when the market is trending by Ichimoku. So I wait until Kumo turns bullish or bearish and Kijun Sen turns bullish or bearish to buy or sell. Yeah, otherwise, I simply stay away is my mindset. And I do this in multiple time frames. In this example, this is one hour time frame. So I don't enter by one hour. But if this is a, if this pair is if this market is on the daily time frame, then I don't take the daily to follow because um, it's range and there's nothing to follow. So I don't take the daily time frame in that case. So after you identify whether the market is ranging and trending, then the next step is uh, which time frame you trade. If you trade in multiple time frames, that will be the next, next step. But if you're only trading the one hour time frame, then you simply stay away in this market and come back some other some um, after a while, maybe a couple hours later, and see if you see the trends. If you see trends in a couple of hours, then that's when you look for a trading timing. So that's how I manage the screening charts and when to take trades and when not to take trades. Yeah, and this is also something that I said before is that the, uh, you know, sometimes, or well, oftentimes, right? Oftentimes, we tend to focus on when to take trades. When to take trades, is this a good pair to trade? Is that good pair to trade? Is this a good timing to trade? You know, we may think about when to enter market always, but uh, this is one of my hard moments when I, uh, when I became full-time and when I became profitable is to focus on when not to trace. 
Because if you know when not to trade, then uh, you know when to trade also. But if we, when we focus only on when to trade, then you may not know when not to trade. Because you, you seem to have uh, trading opportunities every day, every hour, and every minute. So, but we have to be very selective on which pair to trade, which market to trade, and which time frame to trade, and when exactly trade, but more importantly, when not to trade. And by using Ichimoku, it's really simple. Especially, uh, the way I look at the chart is uh, what I call the KTS, K's trading strategy, and it makes it so much easier to identify the trending market and ranging market. And again, as a trend follower, I only trade when the markets are trending, and the markets are ranging, I simply stay away and come back a couple of hours later. It's my time strategy. So the market's moving every day, every minute, and we may think that, that we have opportunities every day, but uh, not really, not really. We have to be very selective on which market to trade and also when not to be in the trade.